Okay, so I want to be able to copy whatever I have here, all right, across this my six states, and I want it to happen at once. I don't have time to copy this, come here and paste, come here and paste, come here and paste until I don't have done the paste on six states. Assuming I have the 36 plus one states that I'm handling, it's going to take me a while. So I want to group these sheets together so that I can do that at once. Now, when you group your sheets together and you do anything, whatever operation you are doing will be duplicated across. Now, let me explain. This is the state one, state two, state three, state four, state five, and state six. So I'm going to group this together and I'm going to type on E1, got my name box here, and I'm going to type have run, and I'm done. Now when I click state 1, it's the same thing, state 2, state 3, state 4, well this may not really be obvious, let me ungroup. Now this is 4, it's there, this is 3, it's there, when I come here, all of them are now bearing that. So what I need to do is to select all my sheets or the sheets that I want to group together and then copy and paste what I want to do. For instance, now I'm going to copy this entire spreadsheet and I'm going to put it across here. Now, from experience, things like this may not be uh, pasted across grouped sheets, okay? So for the purpose of this grouping that we want to do, we are going to delete this from our, our sheet. And again, you would, know, you would have noticed that this is Excel table. Of course, we know that it's not all tables that are recognized by Excel as table. Any table you click and you see this table option here, then that is a table. For instance, now, if I make something like this, okay, you can actually, I can actually decide to uh, format it and then maybe put uh, beautiful things here, do this. Uh, and then here I have name, okay? I have name, I have uh, sales, just like we have at the other side. Then I have expenditure, I have cash, have balance for instance this is not a table we may be using it as a table but you see the moment I click here there is no table option here but once I click here there is this table option here okay so in other videos we explain why it is necessary to work with an official uh, table recognized by Excel there are things you can do swiftly with those kind of uh, tables all right so what we need to do is number two, we are going to remove this table. And how do we do it? Once we click here, this option comes up. We are going to be design, and we are coming here to convert to range. Once we convert this to range, we have removed the tab, the table. We click here, yes, go ahead and remove. Now the moment I click here, see this table option, the table tools will disappear. It's no longer active. So even if you click here, it's no longer active. Right. So with this now, we should be able to do this paste across a uh, grouped sheet. Now, so uh, I am going to click this. This is uh, selecting the entire worksheet. I'm going ahead to click my Control C. I have copied it and I'm going to paste it across this grouped sheet. I have held down my, control, my Shift button after I, I selected the first one. I held down my shift button. I went ahead to click the very last one in my row. And I've selected all of them. When you look up here, you see that that is a group. Great. So what do I need to do next? Because these are the, play, uh, the sheets that I want to paste what I have copied. I'm going ahead to select all of them. So by clicking here, I've selected all of them. And I'm going to use the enter button to paste. All right. So I have done that. And everything now is pasted across all the sheets that are grouped together. Now, let's try. 
So first of all, let me ungroup by right-clicking in the grouped sheet and selecting the ungroup command. You see, this is group 6. It contains this. This is sheet 5. It contains it. This is 4. This is 3. This is 2. This is 1. And this is our source. Great. So this way, you are able to do uh, you, you are able to apply a command across several uh, sheets that you have grouped together. Now, so let's use this now as our, I'm going to use this register as our summary. And then um, it will also be good if we convert this to money. Okay, this is money. And we are in Nigeria. So let's see here. Let's get more. We are dealing with currency. Okay, so let's get here. Uh, let's pick any of the Naira values. Let's pick the one from Edo. We actually have about four of them. All right, so and we don't want any decimal point. This is how it's going to look. So uh, when I click this, it has become Naira, and this is duplicated across the, five, uh, the six states. Oh, by the way, I ought to have done this here. Since I didn't do it, I'll simply do my formatting. I'll simply click any one or even as they are selected, but let me pick only one. And I'm going to pick this, my format painter. I'm coming here, I'm dropping it here, and I have my Naira value. Let me go ahead and save. Good. Now that we have done this, let us delete, delete here, okay? Whatever we write here, if it is, so long as it's not, it's still going to give us the Naira value. So let's not uh, worry. Control Z. Now, what I we need to do is to create a summary sheet. All right. What is the total sale for all these six states? What is the total expenditure for all these six states? What is the cash for all these six states? And it's going to take me less than 20 uh, seconds to do. So what I need to do here is I am going to click here and I'm going to write equals this. I'm clicking this one. Holding down my sheet button, clicking this. Now I come and hit this. And I enter. This has done this for me. I come this way, I double click. This is done. What I have simply done is I have added the values. The value, like we see in my formula, in my summary, I mean in my formula bar, it's telling me that I am taking these sheets. It's a range now. See this column sheet one to sheet six and i am picking the values that is found in c11 this is our c11 if you remember our cell basic when we talked about the addresses and how to make this cell range uh, reference this is c11 and it has gone to pick everywhere 611 611 all right so this is a very beautiful uh, skill that we should be aware of and then apply them in what we do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Please subscribe and then share to be a blessing to others. Bye.